Hi, my name is Kava Munshizadeh. I'm currently 13 years old and my teammates are Rohan Payanta. I'm really interested in coding and computer software. Our team ID is RCAP22IR5059 and our team name is Falcons. Uh, this is our first international co-space competition. Hi, I'm Payo Parzinzadeh and I'm currently 13 years old. I'm one of the members of Falcons team. We tried so hard to have the best function of robot. This was my first time in motor space competition. This was my first experience in coding and programming as well, and I enjoyed it more than I thought. Hi, my name is Taha Jafar Nijad, and I'm 13 years old. It was my first time participating in this competition, and I enjoyed it a lot. I also have a little ex experience programming with C Sharp. Salam, I'm Rom Khansariya Sam, 16 years old, and from Iran, I was able to do some work with C Sharp. I was able to do some work with C نرم افزار کوسپیس رو یاد بگیرم و الان در این جایگاه با تیمم در فینال هستیم At first I thought that taking part in this competition is going to be our hardest experience in our life but as the time went on we found out besides working hard we had so much fun we could compare our skills to move on we hope to get better and better in our skills, and I really appreciate that we could reach the finale. Robot ما برای اینکه بتونه آخر مسابقه امتیاز خوبی کسب کنه، باید به بهترین نفع گنج رو جمع کنه. استراتژی تیم ما اینه که So in preliminary challenge we didn't think much of object because we thought the only important thing was deposit. At first, we thought it was good that a robot will only pick random objects in the last three minutes and will deposit if it had more than one or uh, one object and the time was in the last minute, it will go to deposit. And that actually worked so well. First is the play space if you have two of each color, including red, black, and cyan, and if you deposit them, it will give you an extra 100 HP. At first, we thought the best way to have the most points of the code that just collect and deposit set objects, but it wasn't good, but it wasted a lot of time. So we changed the time to 3 minutes. It was better, but not as quiet as well. So we choose 2 minutes for collecting and depositing the set objects and 3 minutes to do it randomly. This part is only for the first 2 minutes, and in these 2 minutes, the plan is for the robot to collect sets and deposits if it had set objects to get the extra point. The robot will collect its first 4 treasures randomly, and the last ones based on that first 4. For example, if it had collected only red objects for the first 4, it will only collect one sign and one black object, and if it sees objects other than these, it will ignore them and move on. In this part, when the robot sees the deposit box, at first it will check if it has at least one of each objects. If it has, it will deposit. But if it doesn't have such objects, it won't deposit and go search of go for the search of the remaining objects. Next, you're going to see two minutes of function of our robot.
Because of the online rules, specifically quarantine, we weren't very comfortable. It was very hard to sit on a chair non-stop and try to be in the camera frame. In Questbase, we learned how to make a robot that can do different activities, such as collecting objects, seeing obstacles and avoiding them, and etc. So we can use the knowledge in real life to make robots that can help humanity. Thank you.